Hello guys, in this video we'll learn to run large language models LLM locally on your machines. This video covers a more easy approach to spin up literally any LLM a distilled version depending on your uh, machine specifications and you can pretty much test with it, run it, use it as part of your projects and to achieve that and run literally any LLM on your machine will not be going through any jargon where you go to hugging phase or any other repository and you know download the model files and infer it on your machine instead we'll be using a very easy CLI tool to literally spin up any model and run a bunch of commands on your models so without further ado let's start and let's dive into it so we can run literally any model and that also includes DeepSeek R1 which is kind of the most trending and hot topics in the AI world as we speak and as we start there is a link to my discord and description make sure to join it we are building a community of like-minded people where we share tons of things so make sure to join it first of all go to your favorite browser and search for olama github i'll drop the link in the description so you guys can directly jump to the github for olama now we'll be using olama to run the models as you can see in the description get up and running with large language models and we have installer for mac os windows linux and you can just then run the commands using your terminal and we also are provided with the docker image so if you just want to run in the container you can also use docker image and also the libraries for olama python and js now let's move to olama library now these are all the models as i scroll just check on my right as you can see the scroll is pretty big and you get literally any model like that you need it's like full of the models that you can run on your machine. Now, obviously, for example, for DeepSeek, if you have a, a Mac M1 or a small Windows machine or Linux, you can run 1.5 billion parameters, 7 billion, 8 billion. But above that, you'll uh, you know encounter performance issues. So I'll recommend you playing around with the smaller models. But trust me, even the smaller models are pretty good. And 671 billion is basically the DeepSeek R1 uh, official variant or the or the, the giant variant which is kind of the hot topic in the AI industry as we speak. So we can run DeepSeek R1, we can run Llama, we can run V, Llama 3.2, 3.1, Nobic embedded text. So literally there is all the models that you need. And all we have to do to run these models is literally install that CLI tool and get along with that. So once you have Llama installed, you can just do check the version. So I'm using 0.5.7. But depending on when you are watching this video the version could be more latest and then we have some command for example olama list to check the models on our machine right now i don't have any model similarly olama ps to check which models are up and running and let's run one of these models so let's say olama and we'll be running llama 3.2 so let's go to llama 3.2 and let's say i'll be running 1 billion uh, parameters so we go here and we can just do olama run but if you want to run specifically with 1 billion then let's copy this command and you can also check the benchmarks and all those stuff that you want to and then we just run the command and wait for uh, the model to be automatically downloaded and run on our machine it generally doesn't take much but depending on uh, your internet speed and uh, you know how large the model that you are downloading it could take up to one one to five minutes so let's wait okay so there we have our model is successfully downloaded and served on our machine and literally as i told in the start we didn't have to do any complex jargons or anything literally just run a command now we can just send any message here let's say uh, what is the capital of uh, I don't know, Canada and there you go as you can see it's pretty fast as well like the models because I'm running just a 1 billion parameter and trust me I don't have a, a very uh, large machine as well and similarly uh, write a hundred line essay on how on the cow let's say there you go it's pretty fast as I, as I told you so similarly uh, if we want to you know uh, check let's say 
okay four and how many words or how many characters are in hello world okay there you go and uh, sometimes the answer might be not correct because we are just running a 1 billion parameter but you can run a bigger model or even deep seek as well on your machine and then we, we have the slash commands as well so as you can see all these are our slash command to set session variable show show information so show will show you the information show license show info and show info there you go similarly uh, we have all the details related to the model similarly if you want to you know uh, just uh, quit you can say slash buy so this is how you can interact with your model and then you can also see that it's up up and running until four minutes from now and 2.8 gb in total and uh, you can also do olama list and similarly we'll run olama stop and remove later uh, now let's try to access this using an endpoint as well so let's just clean this so back to olama git repository and if you scroll down all the way to the endpoints uh, right here you can check for api documentation as well so these are all the apis that you can use as you can see uh, for you know players create and you know check the model everything that you want to and as part of this video we'll be using let's say the generate curl with llama 3.2 and why is the sky blue so let's copy this and let's paste it here but remember we are not using llama 3.2 instead we are using with 1b so make sure to add 1b see if we don't add 1b it says model not found but if we let's say add 1b here so it's basically streaming the response which we can set to false so let's use the same curl with uh, stream response as false and now it will just give us response in one go as you can see here so we have all those details that a response of uh, this generate endpoint has and then along with that we have our uh, you know answer as well so similarly we can ask other questions as well from the api now this we can consume in our projects and as you guys can see the response are pretty fast it's not slow uh, uh, by who is the author of uh, the monk who lost his ferrari let's say okay uh, okay couldn't find the information but we can use a different model to check that as well and then we can just stop serving or remove our model as well so we can just do olama list as you can see we have this model here and then we can just do olama stop llama 3.2 1b to stop it so similarly now we can do olama rm llama 3.2 1b to remove it and as you can see it's deleted and now if we list there you go we don't have this model on our machine so you don't have to manage the files by yourself just use this tool and play with literally any models that i just showed you guys on the llama library link to that i'll drop in the description so you guys can directly go there and run literally any model and let me know in the comments what do you think about this this opens endless possibilities to how and what models we can integrate in our projects you don't need to even you know add apis in front of your models you can just uh basically run this it provides the apis just directly access in your uh, projects and you get docker images as well so pretty much easy so i'll i'll use it in different projects in our videos uh, going forward so make sure you watch it and i'll catch you guys in another video bye bye